You've learned a lot more about January 6. You talked to hundreds of defendants. What have you learned? Well, first I've learned about pain. I believe in my nephew. I am proud of him. He was just larger than life. We wanted to come and kind of just share what really happened today. He had never been in trouble before in his life, so this was just so overwhelming. I was sitting in my home, and I got a call from his uncle. What did he say? They robbed him of his hope, his will to live. They took his fight away from him. They broke him. They completely broke him, and they broke his heart. It's hard to find the truth these days, and it's needed now more than ever. We've traveled the country to bring you honest, accurate reporting. Bottom line, Lord, if they didn't want people going to the Capitol, they didn't want people even getting close to the Capitol, it never would have happened. It happened because they wanted it to happen. No one was stopping you. This is the government we're talking about, okay? Like they have like nukes and F-15s. They can do whatever they want to stop average people like me. 34-year-old Roseanne Boylan was one of four people killed. This was a woman who got pushed down, smothered, trampled, and then beaten. Had this been covered at all by anyone else in the media? No. They named me as one of the insurrectionists that was preventing the cops from rescuing her. Was that true? Absolutely not. This crutch was right at my feet, and I put it above my head, and I said, in the name of Jesus, Lord, please stop this. Jeremy was at the Capitol providing security. I mean, he's quite literally the poster boy for the special forces. When you were arrested, they never sat you down and said, is this yours? No, because they're the same officers that recruited me on December 9th of 2020. From Department of Homeland Security. The same two guys. These people are hiding all of this information, and judges have let them get away with that. You could be here forever. I will be here as long as the American people leave me here. I'm Laura Logan with the rest of the story. Join us.